Hi, this is Jack. This is the uh, Bashar double cone coil, which is two interpenetrating coils uh, that are conical shaped, about 40 turns each of uh, number 22 wire. And then the uh, that's L1 and L2. And L3 is just about another 40 turns wrapped around and then open-ended. So what I have here is the super laser saber circuit with uh, lid motors and um, laser sabers and uh, hooked up with this thing so it will um, have a load uh, of a light bulb and then the L3 um, behavior is produces a, a lot of high voltage. So here again is the, the single active element, the 2N3055 and uh, the load is off of one side of the one of the coils uh, to ground. In the third coil here, L3 is the one that's wrapped uh, around the middle of both of the uh, conical coils. But here's a, here's the circuit. I'll hold it steady so you can check that out. And now moving back to the circuit, we have a light. We're using about six watts total on this 120 volt um, small light. It's using a couple of watts. But the curious thing is that the I can't measure this high voltage. If you touch one side of the neon, this is the uh, L3 output, which has probably uh, 1,000 to 1,200 or 1,300 volts. It shocks you, and uh, uh, it uh, it uh, it really does shock you. And and if you load it too much, it will kill the uh, oscillations. As you can see there, it it load it. It will um, light up, uh, and then. But the curious thing is, see how it uh, the filament on the bulb goes out, it goes dimmer when you load it with various things. You can use uh, AV plugs as well for the load, and uh, in those work as well. And I tried to measure it on the uh, the output, and it uh, freaks out my meters. So I don't know. It's at least a thousand volts, probably higher. And uh, one curious thing is that if you look at the load. Uh, the overall load is 6.1, uh, but then when you load it, the uh, it go it drops to say 5.4, 5.3. That's the overall load of the system through the brick. So apparently, you can load the system, and uh, it will use less power. So I don't know if you can scale that very well or what. But the thing that's curious about this is just one active element. There's the 2N3055, and that's it. And the coils and the load, and uh, that's all there is to it. Here I'll give you a shot of the coil again, and uh, uh, thanks for watching.